Hi, I'm Josh with Dymo, and today I'm going to show you how to use and navigate our new software, Dymo Connect for Desktop. To download our software, go to www.dymo.com slash en dash us slash online dash support. Now let's get started. Now that you've downloaded your software, this is the first screen that you will see. You will see a bunch of tips to help you create your label. First, I'm going to go to the new page. Today, I'm going to use the Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo. Here is where you pick your label type. I'm going to use Dymo SKU 30252, a white address label. And we're going to start with a blank label. To add an object, simply click the Add button and add your text. I'm going to label my box of sweaters. In order to resize the label, simply drag and place where you'd like. If you want to align your label, click here and we can align it right into the middle. To print one copy of your label, simply click the print button here. To print more than one copy, click the settings and print however many copies you'd like. Now that you have your text on your label, let's add an image. Simply click the Add button and add your image. Make sure that you resize the image and place it on the label where you would like. Now you can open up the preloaded clip art images or you can browse. I'm going to browse and take an image right off of my desktop. Now that I have my sweater on my label, I'm going to click on my recents. I think I'm going to use this image a lot, so I'm going to click the star. Now it'll be in your favorites so that you won't have to search for it next time. Now all you have to do is click print and your labels will be ready. Now let's add a barcode to our label in order to help our inventory management. Simply go to the add bar and click barcode. A code 128 auto will automatically show up. However, as you can see, there are plenty of different barcode types for you to choose from. I'm going to use a UPCE. Now, make sure you add the data that you would like. However, if you have too much data, you will receive an error message, so make sure that you stay within the allotted characters. Now, to rotate your barcode, simply open the layout, click on the desired orientation, and now make sure that you stretch your barcode to make sure that it fits across the label. Now, I'm going to create a name badge label to help with visitor management within the office. I'm going to use Dymo SKU 30857, a white name badge label, and pick a pre-selected template off the left-hand side of the software. To change the image, click on the image here and browse your desktop. I'm going to use this image to change the picture. To resize, simply drag and drop where you'd like, and don't forget to change her name. Now, I'm going to add a QR code. This will help make sure people in the office know who's here and what time they arrived. I'm going to resize it and drop it on the bottom of the label. Any normal smartphone will be able to read this image. I'm going to change the text to read, I arrived at 10.30 a.m. on December 5th, 2018. Now, anyone in the office will be able to scan this barcode and see what time I arrived. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or need additional information or support, please go to www.dymo.com.